So Kenny's finally gone. Yeah. You know what, Kath? I thought we'd be glad to see the back of him, but I'm not. He's really getting on well. Mind you, told me he was homesick. Yeah, maybe Elizabeth followed his example, eh? Hey, you listening to me? What? Yeah. No, look, I've got this letter from the Samaritans here. I don't want something else out of you, do they? Tell them no. No, they've had a complaint. I've got to go and see the committee. I ain't done anything, nothing. Tell them they get staffed. But I like the Samaritans. Oh, they're trying to get you out of it again, is he? No, and the only person I overstepped the mark, Wandy, son, is you. Should ask me and your mum's permission before you ask Elizabeth to stay. She's family. Yes, and so are we, and we should have been consulted. No, I'm not sure, no. Ian, we were just getting used to the place to ourselves, and there they are. Ain't you like Elizabeth? But it's not that, son. No, I even gave up my bed for her. But Ian, she's your cousin. Oh, well spotted, Mum. Look, what your mum means is you can't go messing around with your cousin. Do what? I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? Oh, that's typical, that is. What I've heard lately about everyone knocking off everybody else's wife just about sums you up, doesn't it? That was your uncle. Oh, it's all the same. Look, she can't stay in his flat, right? Now, find her somewhere else. Ian, your dad's right. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. Even if she has to go back to the hotel. Morning. Hope Morning. it brightens up later. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get a chance to say thank you for letting me stay. It's really nice. No, yeah, I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but it seems I got it wrong. Mum and Dad said you have to go back to your hotel. Nobody said that. It just did. No, what your dad meant was that Elizabeth might be more comfortable at the hotel. Yeah, than slamming it here. Oh, of course not. Yeah, whoever give you that idea? Thanks. Is it okay for you to use the bathroom now? Not inconveniencing anyone? No, no, of course not. You go ahead. Go on. I don't think you can get away with anything. He's what? Gone on holiday. What did he tell you? He must have said something. Well, he's a naughty boy. I'm going to have to have a word with him. Hang on. I was just about to tell him. He said I just got a note from him. What's he planning? He made her look a bigger prat than she normally does. Nothing you've ever done to a bird, I suppose. Look, you could see it coming a mile off, love. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I suppose you're well happy about that. Donna, I don't know what's wrong with you. I say all those things if you didn't mean them. Well, maybe something came up at the last minute. Yeah. No, it never. It's what I'd like to think, but it couldn't have done. If something had come up, he would have left a message, something. Sometimes men are like that. Oh, what's the point? I mean, why didn't you just say, let's have fun together instead of all the other claptrap? Well, I think it's the claptrap that gets women into bed. Yeah, and I believed him. I believed him. Well, maybe men have got two sides to him, you know, the bit that talks and the bit that makes him men. for kids, Cathy. I'm not a kid. My son's 22 years old. You'd think he'd have grown up by now. I'm not sure they ever do. Oh, so they can just go around doing what they like because they can't get themselves together. I mean, a man's got to have it, whatever the cost, and that's OK. It's not on. I never said it was. I just... But sometimes that's how it is, that's all. Am I supposed to shrug it off? No, no. I just feel so used. It had to mean something. If it hadn't have meant anything, I would Oh, look, look, don't think like that. Forget it, please. You can't think like that. I used to think like that. You don't do any yeah, good. I always know it was a con. And you think like that and he's whining me. They've all won. You've got to carry on your life regardless. Yeah, it was supposed to be a battle. It isn't, Donna. It just sometimes turns out that way. Are you feeling better? Oh, this is stupid. I don't want to talk about it. Look, if the chat's good, take it at face value, all right? Don't let you get bitter, twisted or uptight. Otherwise, when Mr Wright comes along, you're just going to freeze him out. I don't out. think I'll have anything to do with men for a long time. Oh, come on, Donna. That's daft, all right? What's crap with Mr. Wonderful coming through that door tonight? You've got to be prepared for every eventuality. Dan, the bit is off. See what I mean? Yeah? No. That's OK. Wrong number. He could still ring. I don't like to see my staff upset. Dan! What are you on about? Taking advantage. Just because I showed a bit of sympathy. That's not what she needs. How do you know what she needs? Ask why she think you can rule the world. I know what she needs, and I know you do. You're dangerous. I'll give a bit of sympathy all of a sudden I'm a rapist. I never said that. That's good as it doesn't matter how much training you have, darling, you still know nothing. I can see right through you, Dan Watts. And Angie on holiday, you know. It's got nothing to do with Angie. It shows how much you can see stuck up in your tower, block married to the king of spuds. Look, Kath, I don't want to have an argument with you, right? But you're married safe, you're dressed safe, and you look safe. You wouldn't know what a life was if it came and smacked you in the mouth. Now, if I want to pass the time of day with Donna, that's my affair. And what's she gonna do about it anyway? Report me to the Samaritans. 